neuroplasticity, the evolution of the brain. How could we apply this to our everyday lives to improve the experience of our reality and improve our physical and mental health? Hello everyone, I am Michael and I help guide people on their evolutionary journey. Neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to evolve. And this happens through new experiences. So a lot of times during our journey, we get comfortable and we stay in the same routines. In order to change your brain you need to switch up your routine. New experiences, first-hand experiences of something new, changing your surroundings. When you're stuck in the same surroundings over and over again, it's hard for the brain to evolve, to change. Over the course of time, a lot of programming has been applied to all of us throughout society through the tell lies to your vision, the television programming. It's not called a television show, it's called a television program because it's programming the brain. So take back your power and understand the concept of neuroplasticity. Change up your experiences. First-hand experiences are important Harness the power of neuroplasticity. Evolve your brain. Expand your brain. And this happens through changing up your routine, coming across new things, new adventures, new knowledge. Do your own research and expand, change neuroplasticity. The brain has the ability to evolve. So if you're fed the same information and it's limited, the brain does not evolve. So always expand, expand your horizons. Go out, change your surroundings and do different things. And by doing so, you are expanding your neuroplasticity, changing your brain. So. A couple of examples that has changed me on my journey. One of them was experiencing distance Reiki. So a good friend of mine, Adam, had performed distance Reiki on me. And in the past, I'm like, how is this possible to be from a far distance and energy healing could be applied not even being in the same room. But then as we start to learn about how everything is connected on the planet and there's different energy points and how we're all connected and just because we can't see something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So it, having the first-hand experience and noticing the change, remember, energy is the ability to cause change. And then I noticed such a great change in the past if I didn't have the first-hand experience it opened my neuroplasticity it opened my mind to new possibilities so the distance Reiki was one of the things that opened me up on my journey to understanding that there are other forces and energies out there Another first-hand experience for me that expanded my mind was the stone Moldavite. So a lot of times we are all familiar with crystals and stones, but to have first-hand experience of this stone once again opened my mind to the energies of these stones and rocks and crystals. So holding the Moldavite in my hand, all of a sudden, several minutes later, you could feel the energy coursing through you. So it all kind of opened up my heart a little bit. You felt the energy, the heart, not in a bad way, but the palpitations of the, of the heart and actually feeling energy 
just from holding a stone and it changes your mind it opens you up to new possibilities so listening to frequencies right and how that has changed the energy level for me and that was one of the things that I when I first stepped forth I wanted to share that with everyone is the healing powers of frequencies so in the past I would say ah it's only sound it can't do much what could it do you got to take something to make you feel better or get more energy but just simply listening to sound and seeing the change in me seeing the change in my energy levels it opens the mind up neuroplasticity all these new things that i tried if you don't try if you don't expand the neuroplasticity will not change you have this ability in your mind light warriors change your mind change your reality this is neuroplasticity so every day on my journey in the past several years my goal is to learn one new thing every day so as i'm sharing with all of you people have shared with me i've had mentors to help me on my path on my journey and self teaching it is important to learn how to self teach yourself mentors pick important mentors on your journey but the ability to self teach that's important light warrior we don't have to just go out there and there's only a certain amount of information available and you must only know this information you go out there and self teach yourself there's so many things and whatever calls you whatever interests you consume that information try new things take on new experiences and switch it up and by doing so you are going to change your neuroplasticity and this is important because you will evolve and you can improve the physical and mental health and your overall everyday life experience so harness the power of neuroplasticity remember we cannot control what is around us however we can control from within be conscious of the power of neuroplasticity raise your vibration and increase your electromagnetism life is so much better when we are all together if you find this message inspiring or know someone that could benefit from it please share this message i am michael find us in the fifth dimension have a wonderful day living your everyday life neuroplasticity change your mind and change your everyday life experience take back control of your physical and mental health heal yourself light warriors when you grasp the concept of neuroplasticity you will become the person that you came here to be and so it is